So after playing Spider-Man PS4, I can safely say Yondefine, aka the king of gaming, the king of YouTube, the realest gamer on the internet, the one who's better than you in every way, was right yet again. Spider-Man PS4 sucks and only casuals, fake gamers, Sony fanboys, and idiots who have bad taste in games will enjoy it. If you like Spider-Man PS4, you have absolutely no idea what good games are. Please quit gaming immediately because you're doing nothing but embarrassing yourself. I find it ridiculous how... These people with just the horrible taste are always the most vocal. They think they have the right to give their thoughts on games. You have no right to give your thoughts on games if you think Spider-Man PS4 is good, period. Go sit down in the corner, bang your head against the wall, and just realize that you are a complete moron and you'll never amount to anything, period. I'm just so tired of seeing these people running around thinking they're gamers. You people are not gamers at all. You know, I be having these idiots in the comment section of my videos like, but come on, young. I mean, like, come on, you can't say that, man. We're all gamers, man. As long as we play games, we're gamers. <laughs> And I just shake my head in disgust. <laughs> I'm like, these idiots truly believe that as long as they play games, that they're gamers. What the? Are you out of your mind? You people aren't gamers. That's just like saying uh, the, the average soccer mom that sits on her ass and plays nothing but mobile games is a gamer. Are, are you people, are you hearing yourselves right now? Again, you people are not gamers, period. Like, end of discussion. You're playing nothing but bad games like Spider-Man. You're playing but nothing but overhyped mainstream trash. You people are not gamers. If you're not playing good games, you're not a gamer, period. You know, sometimes... I amaze myself when it comes to how great I am. You know, I spit nothing but pure 100% facts. I'm always right about any everything. You know, pretty much everything I say, it always comes true. My gaming knowledge is just so next level. I mean, I'm the king of gaming, which is why I always laugh when these idiots doubt me. I'm like, sit down, peasant. What makes you think you could talk to a king? And that's why you rarely ever see me respond to people that try to call me out on YouTube because it's like, why in the world was someone of my caliber lower themselves and the crazy part is to even speak to these people I'd have to it would take ages upon ages to lower myself to their level to be able to speak to them because my level is so high but I'm like why in the world should I care about what a peasant on YouTube has to say that's why again you will rarely ever see me respond to anybody because these people just do not matter I, I mean if their own parents don't like them and think they're mistakes why in the world would someone like me waste my time with them their parents don't even like them. Every time they walk through the door, oh damn, you you didn't die yet? You got it. Almost there. Damn, you're still here? Like, why couldn't there be a freak accident that take that took you out? You see what I'm saying? Their own parents say stuff like that. They give them little hints, and like they'll leave a rope by their bed. You know, they'll leave like some pills by their bed. They'll they'll reach down like you're trying to give them a hug, but they're actually trying to smother them. You see, just hints like that. But see, that doesn't happen to me. You know, like I say, everywhere I go, people just realize how great I am. You know, they realize that I'm just next level. I'm just amazing. You know, something you people will never know nothing about. Just more proof. Like I said, you people will just never be as good as me. But this is by far one of the worst games I've played in a while. It's so obvious the reviews giving this game a good score are lies. They're paid reviews. But even these paid reviews, all this fake hype surrounding this game was not enough to save this trash game. I mean, there is a reason why it's sitting at only an 87 on Metacritic. 87! That is a terrible score! How do you have a game have this much promotion, right? This much hype. You know, commercial after commercial, uh, trying to brainwash the casual sheep. Because that's all commercials are. That's all ads are. They'll play the same ad, the same commercial over and over again so they can try to hypnotize you into buying bad products. And it works for 99% of the world. 99% of the world is able to get hypnotized. Not me, though, because I'm on some next level uh, stuff. But I'm just saying, these people are morons. They just get hypnotized. And after all this hypnosis going on, all these ads, all these commercials, you still can't even pull a 90 on Metacritic? You can't pull a 90 on Metacritic. H how can you feel comfortable with yourselves when you're playing a game, you're running around hyping a game that only has an 87? All these Sony fanboys that were predicting 90s, please shut up forever. You're all so stupid. But this game is a flop. No one's buying it. I went to the store. There were copies galore sitting around for this game. I, I was practically tripping over copies. 
at the store. The people working at the store were damn near begging me to buy the game. Like, hey, man, are you interested in the new Spider-Man game, man? It's been getting some awesome reviews, man. I just hit him with a stiff arm. Like, ah, ah, get the hell up out of my face, man. I don't play no garbage games like Spider-Man. Get out of my face, you casual. And you can tell they thought the game was trash too, but of course they have to do their job and try to sell it to people. And that's why I could never be someone like that that has to lie to people to sell bad products. But it, but it's sad. No one wants this game. Don't believe the fake hypes around this game. I, I'm here to spit pure 100% facts on why this game is trash. And, and I just still can't believe we have these adults running around excited for this game. I, imagine being an adult and still liking superheroes. That is so disgusting. Marvel sucks. DC is better in every way. Period. Period. But oh man, where do I begin with this horrible game? It, it, it's nothing but a Batman Arkham ripoff, once again proving DC is better than Marvel in every way, which is why Marvel copies DC all the time. But let's start with the gameplay for Spider-Man PS4. Again, nothing but a Batman Arkham ripoff. They stole the combat. It's so obvious. And, and that's the crazy part. You don't even try to add your own touch to it to make it seem like it isn't a ripoff. No, you just blatantly rip it off and you don't care. How, how bad can a studio be? Like Insomniac games to where if you're going to plagiarize something, if you're if you're going to copy something, you at least add your own flair to kind of switch it up so it's not a, a total copy and paste job. But no, this is a total copy and paste job from the Batman Arkham games, period. Yet they made it worse in every way. The combat is very dull, boring, repetitive, takes no skill, and doesn't feel polished at all. You can tell they just rushed this. They, they were so lazy with it. it. It's nothing but a brain dead button masher that gets old very fast. The gameplay in the Arkham games was smooth, this is just bad, clunky, doesn't feel good at all, the camera's all over the place when you fight. You know, they copied, uh, you know, Batman with all the gadgets and stuff, like in the game you use this ability that sees through walls straight out of uh, Batman. <laughs> I mean, what a joke! But the combat was so boring it put me to sleep on several occasions. The web swing is, is a disgrace, probably the worst web swing in a Spider-Man game yet. It feels awkward as hell, it's slow, sluggish, you barely feel like you're moving, you feel like you're moving in slow motion, that's how slow it is. The controls are, are not responsive, you'll press a button to swing and, and nothing will happen, it won't register at all. The, the gameplay is just so cartoony, like the way you just run up the walls is so unrealistic, the way you'll dive off of a building, a tall building, building all the way to the ground, you won't die, <laughs> it's just stupid. It's just such an unrealistic game. It's not fun whatsoever, the missions are so repetitive, go here, beat up some bad guys, go there, beat up some bad guys, it's so lazy. The suits in the game all suck and feel just horrible to use, the same special abilities for every suit. You, you can tell Insomniac Games has no creativity or talent. What a terrible studio. The suits are just so lame. They look bad. The abilities that you get with them are useless. The upgrades that you can do are useless. The skills you unlock are useless. They just do nothing. The open world is so lifeless. It looks so bad. Like, why make the game open world if it's going to look this bad? If it's going to be so lifeless, not have anything to do in it? There's nothing to do. They should have just made this game linear like all of other uh, garbage-ass PlayStation games. You know, they're all linear and stuff. It should have just made it linear. But when they try to go out of their lane and make these open world games, it fails in every way. You know, it honestly reminds me of Watch Dogs just in a couple of ways. And what I mean by that is the fact that one, the game was downgraded. Uh, two, Watch Dogs also had a very, very empty and lifeless open world, and so does Spider-Man. This this reminds me of a Ubisoft game so much. I I've experienced all types of bugs and glitches, bad frame rate issues. But yeah, I, I just don't get it. Um, the story is a joke. It's very poorly written, full of cheesy dialogue, poorly written characters. You know, every character in this game is horrible predictable moments that you saw coming 3,000 miles away. Uh, Spider-Man's always saying these these witty one-liners that we're supposed to say, oh, come on, that's just Spidey, man. <laughs> Good old Spidey. It's, it's so lame. Like It's not funny. The only people who would think this is entertaining are morons. I can't believe we have grown men. <laughs> that was so good, Spidey. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I can't believe Spidey said that. That's so funny. <laughs>
And they try to throw in this 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 horrible, you know, Peter Parker storyline where you're Spider Man, uh, you know, sometimes of the day, then you're Peter Parker, and sometimes you have to play as Peter Parker. I mean, they even made you play as Mary Jane. Mary Jane is one of the worst female characters in history. And not only that, the game is very short and can be beaten about three hours, and that's stretching it. I've seen somebody already beat this game in under an hour. It's a short game. They're trying to put all this stupid content in the game to make the game seem longer. That's why they, they came out with day one DLC before the game came out because they know the game was going to die in, in less than a day. So they're trying to come out with DLC already. Boring boss fights. It's a joke. Every boss fight is the same as well. There's no epic boss fights in this game. Every boss fight, you just spam the same button over and over again. And it's just, it's no skill. It's boring, repetitive, not rewarding. And I knew the story for Spider-Man was going to be bad, but this just takes bad to a whole other level. The story in Spider-Man has always been bad. The graphics are horrible. They look like an early PS2 game at best. All the, you know, environments and textures, character models are all horrible. I was just like standing on top of a building looking around at everything and I was like, damn, this is ugly. I felt like uh, Patrick from Spongebob where he, he thought he caught the ugly. That's how ugly it was. I was like, oh, oh no. No, I, I caught the ugly. You see what I'm saying? Again, you can tell this game was downgraded. I mean, it's obvious. Only a moron, a complete Sony fanboy that just doesn't want to say anything about negative about Sony would say this wasn't downgraded at this point. It's so obvious. You would have to be blind to say that this game was not downgraded. It's missing puddles. It's missing everything. The city looks horrible. You know, I had this. I was streaming this game earlier, and I had this one nerd in in the chat. Oh, come on, dude! Just wait till nighttime. It looks really good at night. It, it looked worse at night than it looked in in the daytime. There's no night and day cycle. It's it's just stupid. This game is a joke. I mean, you clearly have to be, uh, you know, mentally inefficient to think this game is good. You, you have to have something wrong with you. You just have to sound like a bunch of durr, durr sounding individuals because no one in their right mind would like this game, period. It's horrible. The gameplay is bad. It's a ripoff of Batman. Again, the story is cheesy. The web swinging is just, oh, God awful. I, I don't, like, I, they just tried so hard to be like Batman and they, they just failed in every way. They really did. This is why, I, you know, this is why I've said multiple times that gaming is dead. Because instead of people actually hyping up good games, what are they doing hyping up nothing but garbage? Left and right. You're all mistakes. All the people that like Spider-Man PS4 are all mistakes. We need to watch who we allow to breed because that offspring could come out all sorts of messed up like you people. I wish there was some type of test that, that showed the compatibility between two individuals. Like, are, are, they, are is this safe to have a, ch a child? Because if we just had some sort of test like that, a lot of you people wouldn't be here ruining gaming with your horrible taste. But this is just another one of Sony's boring one and done games that nobody will be talking about in a few days. And people aren't even talking about it right now. No one's streaming it on Twitch. No one's talking about it. No one cares about Spider-Man PS4. I mean, are people still talking about God of War? Hell no. Horizon Zero Dawn? Hell no. Those games flopped. They sold like trash. And, and they're just dead. And Spider-Man will suffer the same fate. The game's already dead. Uh, PS4 is just so trash. It barely has any good games. Sony fanboys are complete idiots that know nothing about good games. I'm just glad we have real gamers like me. We need more people like me. People that are just great. I I'm just so much better than you people. The poop I take in the morning is more advanced than you morons. You're all just a bunch of sheep that can't think for yourselves. You watch reviews to decide whether or not to buy a game because you can't make decisions yourselves. You watch trash YouTubers all day. You have horrible taste in games. You'll never amount to anything. You're all pathetic, and, and I I can't believe I wasted my time with this game because you know how it is. You know people will be like, I mean, come on, man, you can't say the game sucks when I'm playing it. I mean, come on. And meanwhile, this is the same person running around saying the game's a masterpiece and game of the year before they play it. Just hypocrisy at its finest. But what now that I've played the game, what's going to be the next excuse? 
You know, because I've seen this too, like especially with God of War, you had people in the comment section, well, well, and even people in the comment section when I was streaming the game early. Well, if the game is so bad, man, why did you buy it? It's like because you just said I can't say the game sucks because I haven't played it. How how can you honestly, with a straight face, say why did you buy this game? Then, if you think it sucks, when you just said five minutes ago, how do I know the game sucks if I haven't played it? And to play it, don't I have to get the game, you moron? You people can't even, you know, you can't even stick to your own. That's how crazy you people are. You can't even stick to your own merits. You you switch it up at every second. Now, now what's going to be the next excuse after that? Oh, but come on, man. You didn't even get far into the game. You have to get like 40 hours into the game for it to get better, man. You have to beat the game for it to get better. It's just excuse up the ass. Excuse after excuse. Bottom line, this game is horrible. Anybody playing it is not a real gamer. Period.